Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with our good buddy Cosmo over here. Today we'll be actually going into the SDK uh, program itself, kind of getting a basic understanding, more of a beginner's approach on how to use it, how to install it, so you can explore with it as well. Uh, pretty much what you'll need is a Cosmo, uh, his cubes, a uh, USB wire, usually this is what's connected to your phone to charge it. Uh, you're going to go ahead and plug it into your laptop and then plug into the other port to your phone. So let me go ahead and turn this here to my computer screen just so you guys understand how to install this, how to use it. Um, so, so far uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up here. Uh, what I did was I Google searched Cosmo SDK download and then I clicked on the second link under developer.anki.com and then from here, once it uploads, we're going to go ahead and click on the button up here. It says get started. And then from here, this kind of is a, a nice little installation guide, depending on which one you have, uh, Windows or Mac. Today we'll be looking at the Mac, uh, since I, this is what I'm using here. And uh, we're just going to scroll down to this part here where it says that you need to uh, prerequisites you need Python 3.5 or greater you need Wi-Fi connection and then you need an iOS or Android device with the USB connected cable so we're gonna go and scroll down here where it says how to install Python now uh, Python is more or less um, the software that lets you put commands through and run your own uh, own commands to Cosmo per se uh, and right here under step one it says to install homebrew so you're gonna click on that button here with the word homebrew it's gonna pop up this website now you're gonna see something here where it says paste that at a terminal prompt now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and copy this here so I'm gonna hit command C to copy and then I'm gonna go to our uh, applications button down here we're gonna scroll down to utilities it's going to have like a little screwdriver and a tool and then it'll pop up this screen here where you'll see Graphiker, uh, Script Editor, etc. So we're going to click on Terminal, this black square right here. So this will pop up something that looks like this. You know, it, it more or less will have a bunch of commands and then um, it will tell you, it will say uh, the name of your, uh, your computer and then um, it will, you have to redirect it to uh, wherever it goes. So this is pretty much like the foundation or the principle of the computer. So anyways, uh, this is where we're going to copy and we're going to hit copy that and paste it into here. And then just going to simply hit enter once you do that and I'll reinstall it. Um, since I've already done that, it, it takes a little bit of time. It does everything by itself. Just make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi and make sure you don't uh, cancel it while you're in the middle of it and then yeah just hit enter and it'll, it'll take care of the rest now after that um, then we're just going to go back here uh, and after that um, once it's installed um, you're going to go ahead and go to step number two pretty much under the terminal window which is uh, what we have here uh, let me just go ahead and cancel this again uh, since I don't want I don't want it to uh, reinstall since I've already have it installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and type in brew install Python three, which is also in that box on the uh, Anki website. I'm just gonna paste that and then I'll go ahead and install uh, Python three. So after that, uh, you're pretty much good uh, in terms of getting getting it installed. Um, now you're going to go ahead and install the Cosmo SDK. Now, in order to install a Cosmo SDK, uh, I would first scroll um, to the top here. Under the SDK example programs, I would go ahead and download the Mac OS Linksys SDK examples if you have a Mac, or the Windows SDK examples if you have a Windows. Um, pretty much that will create a, a download a folder of files which will look something like this. So inside here, there's different files. There's different files that end with PY. Think of it as those are Python files. 
Each file here is a command. So there's alarmclock.py, annotate.py, <clears throat> drivesquare.py, uh, etc. So these are all different scripts that you can have uh, Cosmo do. So once we do that, uh, we then go ahead and type in this command right here. Pipe 3 install user Cosmo quotation camera. So you're going to copy this code here and type it under terminal again. And then once it installs that, uh, you should be pretty good. Uh, now here is another section that they have here. This is for people with Android. Kind of explains it step by step. This is a very good website. Very thorough. Explains exactly step by step what you have to do. Uh, again, this is more of just a video so you guys know like exactly where to go. Um, but once you have that installed, you're pretty much good. Now, so I have everything installed. I'm ready to go. How do I run a program? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my USB here and I'm connecting it to my laptop. So I plugged it in and then I'm using the other port and I'm going to connect that to my phone. Simple. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go look at our phone here and we're just going to go ahead and pull up the Cosmo app. Okay. And then I'm going to hit connect on Cosmo. Okay. Cosmo should be waking up. All right. So Cosmo is up now. Uh, my, my cord is connected to the laptop. We're not in SDK mode yet. So he's just kind of doing his own thing. So in order to put him in SDK mode, we're going to click on this little gear on the top right. I'm going to scroll right. And I'm going to hit enable SDK. Now he's more of in a state where he's just kind of waiting for your command. Uh, the screen here will tell you exactly what is going on, what is he doing, and what is his behavior. Now let's go back to the uh, laptop. Alright, so let me just lower the volume on this music just a little bit. Okay, so a few commands that you should understand. Now, for instance, um, you have to get into the folder where the Cosmo SDK examples was do downloaded to. Now, for me, um, it's in my downloads, my download folder. So I'm typing the letters CD. CD is like a command. Think of it that way. CD space downloads. Now we're in the downloads folder. Okay. Now I have to get into the Cosmo SDK examples folder. That is the name of this folder here that we downloaded from the examples from the website. So I'm going to go back to terminal and I'm typing the letters CD again, Cosmo SDK underscore examples underscore 0 0.8.0. Now I'm in that folder. Okay, so now what I can do is I can type any of these commands and it will portray it on Cosmo. Now in order to do that, we have to type a period backslash, oops, sorry, let me get that uh, something else, a uh, period backslash and then you type in the program. So I'm going to type in alarm underscore clock dot py. Uh, so if I go back to the website itself, um, there is also a beginner's tutorial on here as well. If you click on it, it'll explain to you exactly what the coding is made up of. And then I'll tell you how to run a program as well. Uh, it says to run a program, type in dot back slash and then type in the name of the program. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter on this, sending the command to the phone, sending the command to Cosmo. And voila, he is now an alarm clock. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. Um, now you're probably wondering, okay, well that's cool, uh, but what can I do with this? Well, uh, so let's take a look. So when you're actually uh, looking at these files here, obviously you want to know is how do I make my own or how do I edit it? 
So if you go to the beginner tutorial button and then you're in the programming uh, Cosmo beginners tutorial, if you click on python.org website, um, it will show you more in details uh, uh, what exactly is going on in the background. Um, I downloaded the uh, program for this. It's called, uh, here, let me see if I can pull it up here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get everything together here. I downloaded the uh, the Python script writer app. Uh, pretty much it lets me um, edit my own, edit my own uh, more or less uh, 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 programs here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the one that says uh, like annotate. Now annotate will bring up a photo so this here, I'm uh, currently under scriptwriter here. Uh, this will tell you the different things here. So let's just kind of, it, it kind of explains everything in details. So it says, if the robot's gonna wait, the robot will d demonstrate this, to demonstrate that, and then kind of like in a, in a timeline before it hits end. Uh, and then from there, like you can add your own programs. So like this one here, um, this is called Cosmo Face Image. Pretty much it will uh, let you put your own image pretty much on top of it. Uh, like for instance, so what I did was um, if I go into the uh, images folder here. Uh, so like hello world, uh, welcome to uh, Cosmo SDK. Technically you can put any file you want here um, and then just kind of portray it over that. Uh, so they had a, a Hello World logo on there. I changed it myself, um, which I'll actually show it to you right now. Uh, just give me a second here to get this all set up. Um, so pretty much what I'm doing right now is in the background of all this, uh, I have my desktop computer on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I created this here. A conflicts logo which is cool um, and I, I labeled it as hello world so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my USB because um, I like to do editing on my desktop computer more than my laptop so I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it and rename it to hello world all right so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up I put the USB into the laptop here and then um, I replaced the file of the Hello World PNG with my own Hello World uh, PNG file, uh, which I'll show you right now what I'm doing. So I go into my USB, uh, I'm dragging the Hello World to my images folder, and I'm replacing it. Now, with that being said, um, I will go into the prompt queue, uh, and then I will r run the uh, Cosmo face image.py so that should work okay so right now I, just give me one second I gotta exit out of this this thing is messing up here give me a second uh, I'm sorry I'm just re-pulling up terminal pretty much sometimes when you run these programs they kind of get stuck in the program which is quite strange but um, let me just go ahead, I'm going back. CD is to go into the folder. So CD downloads, CD Cosmo underscore um, SDK underscore uh, examples underscore 0 0.0. Oh, okay, and then I'm gonna run the Cosmo face image.py. All right, so I just ran that through and check that out. Conflicts on his face. That's awesome. So that is really cool. I mean, literally, like, yeah, so you could pretty much make your own faces and make your own names, and I think that's really cool. You know, it's something a little different. Um, but, yeah, like, that's just an idea of what you can do in terms of manipulating uh, you can give him different animations, different uh, programs. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, my other, the other video that I wrote made, I just pretty much played all his animations. It's it's pretty interesting on what you can do with this little guy. Um, 
Then, uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can answer for you guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, it's, pre it's pretty cool, you know, it, like, lets you really explore him and try different things. Um, for instance, if you were in this here and you're trying to go back in a folder, remember I told you CD space, the folder's name is to go to a folder, to get out of a, sp a folder, all you have to do is type in CD and space period period and it'll actually go back so this is general scripting that's all for that um but um <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of different different files in here that you can run a lot of different uh different scripts you can try to annotate on it's pretty cool um but yeah no i hope you guys enjoyed this um i actually enjoyed making it uh let me just give you an example of running an animation here so i'm just going to end that here and reopen up another uh terminal screen so i'm just going to go back into the utilities and terminal and cd downloads cd uh cosmo underscore sdk oh examples Okay, uh, so number period backslash. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, my my computer uh, my camera actually just died there for a second. But anyways, um, yeah. So I just typed in um, another uh, command. And I'm gonna run it through. Uh, and then yeah, that didn't go through. Uh, let me just try it. Oh, sorry. I was running the old SDK examples. So they're always uploading new SDK examples. You can do that. You can look at that through the SDK form that they have on Anki. Uh, so let me just go back into your Cosmo SDK examples.py.p0 uh, underscore 0.8.0. .0. All right. Uh, so an example like that yeah so i mean you guys you guys get you guys get the example here it's pretty cool though um so cosmos uh he's a fun little guy uh really cool a lot of different things you can do um i'm just gonna actually pull up one of these here where he, he kind of drives in a square just so you guys understand it uh so like it'll say like for instance it says import system import cosmo uh from uh the cosmo like it, it talks about the degrees on how far he should run before he rotates a certain degree. So he make, pretty much makes a square, which is really cool. Um, and then it says how far he should drive, at what speed, at what rate. So you can manipulate all these different values and make something completely different, something really cool. But yeah, so that's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that answers some of your questions. Obviously, there's just a lot, a lot of stuff you can do with this. And it does take a while for somebody to go through it all and just kind of make a better understanding of it. Again, it's really much worth it, especially like people that are trying to decipher if they want to buy this or not. I think it's a really cool uh, device just because there's so much you can do with it. And it's not just a toy, it's a robot. And you, you get a lot out of it. Um, Granted, I feel like they should have more updates soon. Um, I really hope they do. I kind of want to see what, what's more of official. These are all unofficial. People actually have their own commands up and their own scripts up, which is really cool. Uh, like, there's one on here where uh, he drives to his charger by himself. Now, that's something cool. That's something that they're working on. So, you know, they're, they're working out the kinks. It's really cool. And then they're actually sharing this with the public. So, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, so, um... Yeah, well, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and Cosmo. Uh, we will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.